down. Slow down. Engage. Whoa, lads, to the front row. But a real message from France today to the rest of the Six Nations and perhaps to the rest of world rugby who are beginning to doubt the hosts for next year's World Cup had it in them to go all the way in that tournament. Tommy Ball. Shane Hogan again in midfield. Just strong presence. And Paul O'Connell again on his own down that far Release. side. Eight. 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 Darcy with Easterby. Six. Six. Shane Horgan once again, half through, runners with him. Now Tommy Ball looks for the green shirt inside and finds Don Callahan. David Wallace with him. Now the French defence is stretched, but quickly up David Marty on a Driscoll. John Hayes. 12. The French defence up too quickly. Irish penalty. Limi. That's great. And another Irish advantage, surely a try at last for Ronan O'Gara. Too little, perhaps too late, with an Irish try which has been a long, long time in coming. Well, it signals that taking those quick penalties, not allowing this French defence to regroup, got in behind them on a couple of occasions. And Peter String, who's been, in fairness to Peter String, he's been very lively all afternoon any opportunities at all to move that ball away and restart the play quickly without allowing France time to settle he's taken does it again there this time he finds O'Gara in a good flat position on that occasion he's able just to run it in on, 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 under the post and get the conversion 10 Irish points on the board still a long way to to claw back